Hello everybody, my name is Al DePaulo and I'm the Partner Products Manager and today I wanted to take a quick look at the Bobcam for SolidWorks and how you turn uh, that option on in your SolidWorks package and then I also wanted to talk about document properties as well and how you can set the number of decimal points that will be displayed in Bobcam. Now, after you've installed the software, your SolidWorks package will look like the way it normally does. And what you need to do, because Bobcam is an add-in, is you need to go to your add-ins. This window will pop up, and you need to check on the Bobcam for SolidWorks. When you do that, you'll now see Bobcam is available uh, from the task uh, or from the file menu. So what I'll do is I'll uh, create a new drawing. Uh, Bobcam does work in a, a part file. And once you've turned the Bobcam for SolidWorks on, you'll notice that you'll have a new tab over here. This is the cam tree. This is where you would load in your different uh, machining strategies. And also your posting tab. This is where your G code will be previewed when you're posting. You'll also notice that there's a Bobcam tab. This is where you can adjust some of your settings or launch the simulation or the editor. So if you are new to Bobcam, if you want to turn Bobcam on or off, you just go to your add-ins and you can turn it on or you can turn it off and you can also check to have it start at um, to start up with the SolidWorks package as well. Now one of the other options because SolidWorks because Bobcam is a true uh, truly integrated SolidWorks product and works off the SolidWorks environment, you want to make sure that your um, your document properties you come under here under document properties and units you want to make sure that this has four decimal places so that way when you're defining your tools or your accuracies within Bobcam that it can utilize the four decimal places and you can set that up as a default template so that's just a quick look at how to uh, add the Bobcam to your SolidWorks package and also how to adjust your document properties so your units display properly thank you so much guys